Six sure. pack. Beer. Fire Lubrication. Beer there! Hi, welcome to this week's product review with John and Lou. I'm John Flukey, and playing Lauren Bacall to my Humphrey Bogart is my good buddy, Lou Graham. Uh. Lou, this week we're going to talk about hand pieces and electric hand pieces in particular. So I just lobbed it to you, hit it out of the park for me. So for everybody out there, the question really is air versus electric. In my office, and we had breakfast again. Yep. We're talking in my office right now. I've got Dense Ply's ATC hand pieces. Mm -hmm. Love them. I've got Cavo's hand pieces. Love them. Mm -hmm. We've even evaluated disposable hand pieces. Yep. Hand pieces have just evolved from our grandfather's belt ribbons right. to air hand pieces to really what's out there today. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be focusing on electrics. You have them in your practice. I don't. Let's start off with the keys to today's electrics. Okay. Go. Electrics. I evaluated electrics and worked with electrics in the mid-90s. Um, tried them for a while, went right back to air-driven, and the reasons were um, they were heavy. God, they were heavy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yep. Go and, on. And, and, and the handpiece itself was heavy, but then right. it had that heavy cord with a lot of pull, a lot of torque. Yep. I, I've got these little tiny skinny sissy yep. wrists. Yep. At the end of the day, I, you, you know, do. I was yes. like this. Uh -huh. Thanks for noticing. Um, and, and then the other thing was they weren't real reliable. And, and when they failed, my initial idea on electrics was, um, you know, they're going to last longer than air driven. And back in the day, they did last longer. But when they failed, they, they cost, I mean, they lasted three times longer and cost four times more to repair. So it was kind of a losing proposition. And because of that, I really wasn't a big electric guy. But I got a couple of chances to evaluate some electrics right, right. a while back. Yep. Completely different. Light feels like an air-driven handpiece in your hand. The cord is completely different now. Um, they're durable. They don't fail. Uh, the amount of torque is just phenomenal with them. So at our catapult retreat this year, when Cabo yeah. came out as yes. one company, sure. I know Ben Aaron. There's many companies out there yeah. with great electrics. You definitely feel a much lighter weight mm -hmm. handpiece. Not as light as air, right. but still significantly yes. lighter. Okay, beyond the weight, talk to me about dialing up, dialing down, and the options as far as why someone would look at an electric for the variable speeds. Okay. Um, one of the things, you know, when, when you've got an air-driven, air-driven usually rotate between 300 and 400,000 RPMs. Right. And that's because they don't have a lot of torque. Right. So they spin up real fast, but then when you actually, you know, put bird to tooth, the speed drops down to, you know, 180 to 200,000. Right. Electrics just go to 200,000 to start with because they're high torque. They don't bog down. Right. So the efficiency of it is good. They don't scream like the air driven because right. they're actually rotating slower. In fact, the Cavo, um, the Cavo unit that, that Catapult evaluated and that I use routinely right. in my practice only puts out 55 decibels of noise. It's, it literally is right now, the Comfort Drive is the quietest handpiece on the market. But you compare that or, or you add on to that with the fact of this high torque, you can run these things very, very slowly and they don't stall. So, you know, when you're polishing margins, um, you know, so you can get, you know, real precise, whether it's traditional or digital impressions, either one, the torque that allows you to go in and do real nice refinements and they don't right. stall right. makes it a huge difference. And as we were talking at breakfast, yeah. when you're using, let's say, uh, a selective carries removal approach. Yes. And you want to not take dentin away aggressively, and right. you want to use whether a smart prep tuber or Comet Cerebur. Yeah. You can dial this down to the point like you're talking, where you can literally be going at such a rate that you can be going so carefully into the dent. Is that your thought here too? Yeah. The uh, the Cavo Comfort Drive yes. um, is completely foot controlled, and on that one, you know, you just feather like you would any other way. The other system that I have in my office is BN Air. And BN Air has a controller box that mounts on your dental unit that you can right. see. And literally, you can go in and select carries removal. I mean, that's one of the things. And it will wow. actually dial wow. down 
yeah, the, it dials down the handpiece and only puts it you know, to a certain RPM. And then from there, you can feather it with your, your foot if you want to. So it does allow you to be very selective in exactly what you're doing and you know, how carefully you're doing carriage removal. And I got to ask you, maintenance. Maintenance with air hand pieces, turbines, always an issue. They sure. really are. Yeah. Uh, tell me about maintenance with electrics. You know what? The maintenance is pretty simple. I mean, you know, the one thing about electrics that you do have to remember is you do have to maintain them and you do have to check the heads. And just real quickly, the reason for that is an air turbine will fail when a bearing goes out or when it gets gummy from, you know, lubrication building up and stuff. Electrics won't. Electrics, because that high torque and the head doesn't have a turbine, the head has gears. And there have been some cases a few years ago of the heads heating up and actually having some patients being burned. So you do have to do good maintenance, but it's simply you know applying the lubrication, you know blasting the lubrication out with you know by you know connecting it, and running some you know. Is that every day or is that after every use? It's every use. Every use. Every use. Okay, but routine easy. Yeah, it's simple stuff. Simple stuff. And they these things go. I haven't had. Any, uh, any more failures or anything like I used to have back in the old days, these things run. Now, you, know, we, you have to obviously do maintenance and occasionally you do have to go in and have them rebuilt, but that's that way with any handpiece that goes through you know, all the things that we put them through. Okay. So with that, that's our update on electric handpieces. Thanks so much for your time. More tips, tricks, and truth in product review in the next episode. Thanks for being with us.